Hey, what is up, guys? Toxic Monkey here. It has been about eight or nine months since I have made a video, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, today, we're gonna look at Saren and her poison build. You know, I was skeptical at Saren at first. I honestly put her on the back burner. I was like, what the fuck is this piece of shit I got? And uh, then I, you know, as I was level up Warframe, trying to get my mastery up there, I, I realized, you know, she's not too bad. And, uh, and she's good. She's honestly got the most range out of anyone I've ever seen. Uh, so let's, let's jump in and, uh, and take a look at her build. Okay, so what we want, um, you, you honestly go with every polarity you want. I, uh, not polarity, uh, aura mod you want. I really don't care. And also, uh, your, uh, your mod right here. Uh, you can throw in whatever drift mod you want. You can throw in the one for power, strength. I went with range just because I want to get a range up as far as I can. Because to me, Saren's all about range. Uh, so I threw a cunning drift on, stretch, and overextend. Uh, it's, you're going to take a little hit in ability strength, but you'll still be hitting quite fucking hard. Um, efficiency, not such a big deal. Especially if you get the Xenuric skill tree to get your uh, energy up there. Uh, I threw some strength on, so transient fortitude, blind strength, intensify. If you know of any other ability strength mods that I'm missing, uh, that'd be truly beneficial to this build, let me know, because I would gladly swap out regenerative molt for that. But, regenerative molt helps you out quite a bit. You know, I mean, if you're taking fire, 50 health a second is a lot of health you can gain back. And uh, I threw prime continuity on to keep you know the duration up there a little bit because I'm taking a little hit in duration with transient fortitude and you don't want your poison to last two seconds even though you are going to be spamming the living shit out of it I kid you not you'll be spamming the shit of it and I threw streamline on just so that it's not costing me you know 150 energy every two seconds uh, so that's what this is uh, let's take a look at the abilities uh, so the two moves, the one move you're going to be doing is spores, obviously. Maisma is like your big boss hitter that I like to use when enemies start getting close and there's like a shitload of them and they still got a little bit of health. I mean, 70, 766 damage a second, I mean, for almost four seconds, that's pretty good. Uh, spores there, spores is, is the one... Is the big thing here though. Uh, your spread range on spores itself, that spores will split to other enemies, is 40 meters, which isn't too bad. That's quite a ways. And the range that the poison itself will spread is 150. You could sit in Hydron at the cryopod and just spam it like crazy. Now, I know you're saying, oh, well, you gotta wait for enemies to get close. Well, a lot of people I've seen, and some people get pissed off at this. But uh, it's a really good way to focus farm, and that is all I use Saren for, for the most part, is focus farming. Is you cast your molt, and uh, cast spores on molt, and then you shoot off your spores. Now, there's also a way around that. Oh, it, say you want to be a lazy motherfucker like me, and you don't want to shoot every single spore off. You gotta take time reloading after you shoot 150 spores, and you know, um... I got I got a plan for that, but uh, toxic lash you can use. I really don't use right now, just because I haven't. I, I don't really use my melee that much uh, for this, because like I said, purely focus farming build for me. Um, so anyway, let's get into my way around. You know, wasting your bullets. Uh, Mutilus Cernos. It comes with I think 45 percent regular status chance. You only need two mods, my friends. You need Malignant Force and Thermite Rounds. That bumps your status up to a massive 99%. And those are the only two mods you need. You don't need to form this. I have a couple times, just just because I'm nitpicky. Uh, I like to have everything up to par. But 99% in gas damage. So that means 99% of the time, I've never fired an arrow where it hasn't not done gas. Okay, so, uh, I mean, look, 99%, boom, gas cloud, right there. So, um, let's get right into it, guys. Alright, guys, like I was saying, you could either cast spores on them dead on, or if there's no enemies around you, really, there's no reason 
you can't do this. Uh, you just cast your molt, right? Look at that molt. Molt stays up for a long time, 52 seconds. And then you cast spores on molt, all right? And then you shoot at the ground, and it'll just keep destroying them. See, look at them just going down. These are level 40 enemies. Their health is going down pretty good, but I mean, you're gonna reach them before they even hit the cryopod. So honestly, you could probably cast like three sets of spores. One, two, three. And look, everyone in the everyone in the room is pretty much dead, except for these sticklers down here because they were behind the wall. But I mean, it's it's really well, maybe them being behind the wall has nothing to do with it. But anyway, it's it's really. Uh, a good focus farming build, you're gonna get a shitload. I know Banshee was the big hit before they nerfed everything, but I don't know, some people still say Banshee's all right. But uh, that's that. Let me take you into Hydron and show you how it works with, you know, real time uh, ads coming your way. It's, it's pretty good focus farming though. All right guys, so if you wanna do this and get a lot of focus, you need four people in the group because it's gonna duplicate the amount of ads that you get. But you just, uh, you sit right here, pop an arrow off, cast it a few times, you're gonna see shit all over the room start to die. I, shit, I'm not even seeing. Grab a little bit of focus here, I mean, cast another arrow. I think the first wave's pretty much done. It's quite a bit though. That yeah, wave cleared, wave cleared, see that? See how simple that is, 30 to 40. Let's see how much, you know. If you get 2,000 uh, focus out of it, I mean, it's, I call that a win. I usually get three to 4,000 uh, because I'm rocking greater lenses. But this is just with, uh, you know, you want you want to slap your focus lens on your Saren when you do this. But I mean, it's, it's a real simple, you're gonna piss some people off because they want to get kills too. Okay, well it's 1656. That was just out of the first wave. So it's a it's a pretty solid build. But if you guys like the video, please like. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, you know what, guys? Why don't you comment on what build you want me to do next? If I have the Warframe, Warframe is strong. I'll gladly do a build on it. If I'm missing one or two pieces, I'll try and scrounge it up real quick. Uh, throw throw a decent build on it for you guys, but uh, yeah, yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed to this, please obviously subscribe, but uh, I'll catch you guys next time.